my dear friends, my name is Antonia Ramaker. Today I'm not going to make a class myself. Today I want you to meet one of my wonderful friends and his name is Phil. Filichka. Uh, he's known by this name everywhere. So you might already know him and know that he's an English teacher in the net, but I want to take a closer look at him. Well, um, I know, know him personally and I have made a couple of videos with him already, you might have already seen them. So, and I personally know that he's a wonderful, charming person and he makes great videos for English learners. So just take a look, enjoy the class. Today Phil will tell you how to say that you do not understand somebody. Phil's style is very relaxed and casual, but extremely comfortable. So it's just awesome. Take a look and you will see for yourself. Yo, what's up world? It's your boy Filosco here. And today we're going to learn different ways to tell someone that you do not understand them. Because in many different situations, you can just say, what? And it won't change anything. For example, what? I don't understand. Who? What? What? But now, see, in this case, when someone is making sounds that you can't exactly understand and you can't comprehend what kind of sounds this person is trying to make, maybe it's in a different language. Or maybe they just sound terrible or maybe they speak really, really, really fast and you just don't understand the sounds in which they are trying to make, then that's when you say, I do not understand what you're saying. I do not understand what you're saying. And the reason you say this is so the person will know that what they're saying is not clear. So they are more likely to speak slower in this situation when you don't understand what they're saying and you let them know that you don't understand what they're saying. Sometimes I speak very slowly, I think I do, just so I can make sure all of you who can understand basic English can understand what I'm saying. So yes, that is the first, easiest, most basic way to not understand somebody. But there is a way to not understand somebody when you do understand the sounds they're making and you even understand the words that they're using to a certain extent. For example, Yo, yesterday, man, I bagged this shorty. Yesterday, I bagged this shorty. Yesterday I bagged this shorty. Didn't you store? Yesterday! And yes, even that can go on forever. But with cases like this, when you do understand what the person is saying because they're speaking clearly, but you don't understand what they mean, you don't understand the phrase, or you don't understand the idiom, what you say is, I do not understand what you mean. I do not understand what you mean. And in this case, the person will know not to just repeat it more clearly, but they will know to use different words to be more accurate with their description. But in order to use this, you have to basically understand the language and you have to understand the sounds the person is making. So let's get to the third and last way there is to not understand a person. So ladies, let's pretend you go somewhere and there's some guy at some party that you don't know and he starts talking to you and he were to walk up to you and say, Miss, you are so beautiful. I want to take you home, put your foot in my toilet and just flush the toilet while your foot is in it to see the water. Just rub your foot. Oh baby, I would just love to take you home, put your ear next to my nose and do... Oh baby, I would love to just take you to my home, take off all of your clothes, then wear them. And in this case, you know everything he's saying. You know exactly what he means and you know exactly what he wants. What you actually don't understand in this case is why would someone tell you this? And why would someone want this? And when you're in a situation where you don't understand why a person would say something that they said, you would say, you're weird. I don't get you. You're weird and I don't get you. And this is a way of saying, yes, I understand you, but I don't understand what's going on in here. I don't understand why you'd want to put my foot in your toilet. Things like that. So there's many different ways to say, I don't understand you. And this is really for you girls who wish to travel to America. You will definitely meet some weird guys sometimes and you have to learn to tell them, 
you're weird, I don't get you, or you're weird, I don't understand you. So they know that they're strange and that they should move away. This is a real good one for the ladies. So, that's basically it. So that's the end of the episode for today. I hope you liked it, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you learned new stuff. Be sure to add me, vk.com slash Velotsko. That's me, and subscribe to my YouTube page to see all my videos. Remember, I don't understand you, I don't know what you're saying, I don't know what you mean, or you're weird. I don't get you. Later. BTW, some really bad things are said about Phil in the net, but to tell the truth, I don't believe them, because I know Phil, I have met him, and I know that he's a wonderful person and he treated me with nothing but respect. So keep studying English with me and Phil, we are going to teach you some real good English. See you! Keep studying English with us, bye bye!